okay class in this video um, we're gonna take those four images from the class um, we're gonna edit them in Photoshop then we'll go to Illustrator and we're gonna place them in Illustrator and then we're gonna transform each pictures so let, let me go and start with the bringing those four pictures into Photoshop so I'm gonna say open and uh, So you you'll have these pictures uh, from the reference folder. So I'll go to Fractal Paintings, and I want to pick four four from here. So I'm going to take one, two, three, and four. Press open. So let's pretend that these are my four images, and I'm going to change my to inches. Okay. So in here, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to make a ruler 5 inch by 5 inch then I'm going to say control T sorry control control A and control T to transform this press the shift key so let me move this to the 5 inch up to here so I think I'm only going to have this much amount of images I don't want to do entire so I'm just going to do that 5 inch enter so you could pick whichever or if, if you want to do the whole image you could do you could do the whole image but you only get a small part of it so uh, I'm going to make this into since the rep repetition both sides so I'm going to do crop C4 crop and I'm going to crop between that press enter that's my 5 inch by 5 inch then I'm going to say file save as don't do file save please do file save as because this is now your image and you could <coughs> you got to give credit for all of this image guys when you're putting this in your presentation board find out where you got this from and give this credit for this image so so I'm just going to save this to my desktop for now. JPEG, save, and OK. And I'm going to close this. So I'm going to do the same thing for this this painting too. So I'm going to do I'm going to make the ruler five inch by five inch, five inch by five inch. Then press V, Control A. See that now you have to select all of this, control A. Now control T will transform and then you can click here and you press the shift button and then you can do like this. Press enter. Just a bit. Press enter. Now you could move this painting if you want or this thing. You don't have to I'm not gonna keep it exactly center. So I'm just gonna move it to the side a bit. So I can see this I can see this crack over here. Press enter now. I'm gonna press C for crop. Crop from here to this point over here. Press enter. Okay. And now I'm gonna say file save as. Always give credit for this images guys. <coughs> OK. Now, if, if I want to close this, and I'm going to take this guy here. This is kind of interesting where it focuses on this, end, on this here, and everything fades out in this direction. So, five. This is like very high quality image, guys. So, you can see that's very high quality because of the resolutions. And I'm going to control A, control T, press the whole shift button. Yes, I'm just gonna do it like this. This is good. Press enter now. See for cropping it. Enter. And I'm gonna file save as. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Yes. And save it. I'm gonna close this let's do same thing for this guy this is kind of interesting 
guys all these images I found it on online so you m should give credit for this view um, and, and also where you, you got let me know where you got this from and if you just google the, the image name you should be able to find it where's the website is from so let's again control a control T you, pr you gotta press the control a first then control T and I'm gonna do like this okay and you could move it side bit and press enter now I'm going to use the crop Oops, yeah. crop it and file save we'll save it to the desktop okay so now that's all uh, you have to do with the Photoshop so now I'm going to close this so now I'm in my illustrator file here so I'm going to go to illustrator file open sorry file new in here you'll name your file over here let's guess I'm gonna put Bala um, summon five artboard artboards are gonna be eight and rows two spacing is um, 30 or 28 it's up to you and the, the width is going to be 11 the height is going to be 11 and and here CMYK that's good we're going to advance and change the CMYK that's good because all of our printer our printers are CMYK and then press OK so now you have this one so let me do this again guys file new four rows ok I'm going to put this in the four rows it's ok So in here now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two images for each um, pictures. <coughs> so in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my final uh, Im <coughs> image at the eight by eight inch in the bottom. I'm going to put all of my four inch by four in the top. So in in Illustrator shortcuts for zooming is Z for zooming. And so now here I'm going to press Control R to get my rulers. Okay. So I'm going to make some construction line using my pen. So losing my guidelines over here so you will click on this ruler if you bring this down and before even you do this let's click on this corner and bring this to uh, this corner over here and m make that as your zero zero okay <coughs> once that is done make sure that you have this set to black over here okay point one and guys try to make your layers okay on keep keep couple of layers one for images images the other one for other one for grid and the other ones for pen one pen two So every time when you do something, that has that layer has to be selected. Okay. So in this case, if you look at the corner here, that means this layer is selected. And also, when you click on this circle, that means you you could select whatever's on the, this layer. And also, when you click on this box over here, you, you could lock the layer. And when you click on that small eye, that you could turn on and off that layer. Okay, guys. <coughs> so let's go ahead and do this from the top we said it's going to be quarter inch because it's one inch three quarter half quarter okay and we're going to do the same thing from this side too that's the quarter from that we're going to what I'm going to do I will create my first box which is rectangle here I'm going to click on this first intersection only one click then put five here five here press ok so that's my first box okay and now I'm going to do my second quarter here from this 
line I'm gonna go quarter okay that's my code there and again that's my code right here that's one that's my quarter okay so let's do the other box I'm gonna click on this center okay also I'm gonna click on this intersection over here that's my next box and also same thing with this intersection that's my next box okay so but the problem is here guys now see that I draw everything in this image layer so what I'm gonna, I'm gonna select all of these three I'm gonna cop, cut this okay I'm gonna create another la layer I'm gonna call this uh, <coughs> RECT for rectangles and then I'm gonna say right uh, edit paste in front or paste it should be sorry don't do that edit paste in front so it should be in right spot same spot where you wherever you did it, uh, copy it from and when you use this icon over here direct selection you could that mean you could select the individual lines from the rectangle and when you do here you can select the as select them as a group as well so now what I'm going to do I'm going to delete this guidelines okay and I'm going to select this copy it control C file then I'm going to click on this see that when you double click on this each uh, each um, page you uh, you are in that particular page you see that that highlighted and you can see file paste in front sorry paste in front or you could simply press the art but you could select all of this press the R alt okay from this corner okay so what you what, what I'm gonna do now guys I'm gonna take this um, before before I, before I even copy to this side I want to show you one more thing if you double click inside the box here right click and you could say show grid see that it's showing all the grid so you, it's easy for you to work with it now also if you right click here you say um, you could lock the grid hide the grid or and also show artboard ruler so now this is your zero zero and it's showing the all of this 11 inch by 11 inch and also you could uh, hide them too so in this case what I'm going to do I will go ahead and um, hide the ruler and hide the art ball and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to un uncheck this hide the um, grid too ok I'm going to press control R easy to work with and I'm going to take this from the corner and put it to this intersection and again I'm going to do the my quarter inch quarter here for this artboard and I'll do quarter for this artboard here as well okay and again I'm going to do a quarter for this artboard and I could select this using the share alt drag it I'm going to use my um, shift to align it and drop it again I'll do the same thing I'm going to do the same thing with this copying it aligning it see I missed the so guys I now I'm going to go and delete this guy here so now I have all of my um, rectangle selected uh, made it then I'm, what I'm going to do now I'm going to lock this layer so now my, I cannot move my rectangle anyway once you lock it that's a good good way to work with this and also now let's go ahead and do the 8 inch by 8 inch rectangle over here if it's 8 inch if you you could put either put there in the center or you could use the corner or you can still align with this and put the text on the side so th what I'm going to I'm going to put this I'm going to move this to the using this 
since this layer locked I'm going to unlock this and I'm going to put my 8 inch is 11 is 3 2 and a half 2 and a half so it's 1 and a half 1 and a half 3 now again I could take this corner put it to this page corner and I could count one and a half down here one and a half up here rectangle click on this corner eight inch by eight inch okay and that's mine and if you want to move this rectangle to the side at least about another half an inch or so but remember you got to leave some space to put the text and you design this where, where you let me know where you want to put it so now guys look at this I drew this now it disappeared reason is that because I have not select the black color okay so you make sure that this is black and point to the one point then I'm going to lock my rectangle before I lock it let me copy this to the other side again I'm going to copy this using the alt key I'm using this as a center that's one two three and I have not copy for this so I will go ahead and do that too one here quarter here select all of this and copy this and also I'm using alt click now and the center you see the th those green line tells me that inter they are lining up so now good so now this is my artboard which I created okay guys now in here I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and put my drawings so I'm going to select these delete them delete them now I'm gonna, I could come and lock the rectangle now I'll go to my image okay once I now I'll, I'll finish my rectangle and that's it now you can once you lock it you can even select it you can move it okay all right so I'm gonna say file place okay from desktop which that's where I saved it so one by one I'm going to place this it's automatically placed here so I'm gonna move this to this box box over here okay so see the problem is that you cannot see my you can't see my image so because my rectangle okay it's not transparency okay so in this case I had to move my red uh, image on top of the rectangle in order to see it now I can click on my image opacity I'm going to put this to 50 so that you could see through it when you're drawing your lines and I will do the same thing with this guy too file place second image I will move it to the top of this image opacity going to be 50 that's it see I'm still in my image layer and I'm going to go to my file place again third image and put on top of this I'm just going to drag since I cropped everything in Photoshop everything fits in here perfectly We'll put this 50 enter again I'm gonna say file place and this one I'm gonna put over here opacity I'm, I'm gonna put this to 50 okay guys now I'm gonna lock my image and save this I'm gonna save this Save this to the desktop as well and save as CS4. <coughs> so now you guys know what to do with this. So let me go ahead and do a small de demo on how to draw lines in here. So, what we're going to do now is that we're going to draw circles and lines and see a patterns. We're going to find some patterns within itself. So, if you if you go and draw um, ellipse or circle, 
okay so in this case you see that it's giving me like small arrow you cannot draw that because my black is now f f picked now this image is locked clear I'm gonna go to my pen first and now I'm gonna draw this see that if it's locked you you cannot draw it on that layer see that so what I'm gonna do now now I unlocked it I put my I set my pen as my first and I'm gonna click on the center I'm gonna say I'm gonna this to three inches by three inches so it'll give me perfect circle okay so in here what I'm gonna do I will go ahead and now I'm gonna say click on this pen here hold it and say add anger points see that so when you add one anger points here and here and here and here so that mean now giving you flexibility to change now you click on this white line and you could ha you could you t use the handles and you could flip this you could change this so if you have funky shapes that you you cannot draw any of this stuff you could use this anger points and you could pull these lines okay guys and also now yes you could go ahead and fill this and do all the other stuff with this and you see the fill over here if you select fill it fills it up in your case it should be over here the fills and please guys go to windows and and have all of these curves look at my screen and have all of this turned on and you will see them on this side over here that's for that so now this will and also when you give anger point you also you, uh, you could also divide them now if I draw a line see I had to click and drag if you do one click it will ask you for the dimension and the angle okay so in here let's try to do some anger points let's see if I could add anger points in here anger points one anger point two now I'm going to click on this anger point using the white line see that now you could move this lines to the side when you give anger points and also now if you give more anger points click anger points you give as many anger points you want that means you're subdividing these lines and now you can click on this white mouse and you can move this around so in this case what you could do if, if this is your model so I could draw a line from here to here then I could draw a line from here to here draw a line from here to here draw lines from here to here then I can use anger points click on the center of this then I can move these lines up here so let's follow this pedals so you have to use the anger points to to subdivide any lines and use that you have this line see this is going around you could find the pattern that goes with this ge geometry and after this what you're going to do you're going to since <coughs> you have uh, you're going to copy the uh, lines from here see that now I'm selecting my since I locked it it's easy good thing that you put them different layer and you lock them now you can only copy this using the shift using the shift here you can move copy this using the alt and shift and you can copy it this side in here now you could click on this each line and you could give a depth to it and also you, you if you want to give only depth to one side of this you could see for crop um, scissors or you could say knife or scissors and you can pick one point here now this divides both of them into two different pieces so now this, then you could give another different thickness for that so now you b by this you could create your own artworks over here so basically this is how you set up the whole drawings and you start work on it. have pr practice guys and uh, go through all the things that we learn in class and also now let me go and do the grid so 
if we go to so guys so I took the lines and I, I simply quickly draw this a uh, uh, couple of these lines here now what I'm going to do I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going to use alt command I'm going to copy to my next clip over here using a shift and holding it straight that's it now you could go ahead and um, do the cut and you could have changed the line weight and you could change uh, have a reason for it okay and uh, you could play with all of this stuff let's say you are finished with your f third one which is this guy here I'm going to copy this down here let's say you finish with this okay now when you're copying this to this artboard over here I recommend that you copy with your rectangle with this rectangle so let's copy all of this with the rectangle alt I'm gonna put it over here okay and then you could take this rectangle you could select all of this and deselect this rectangle over here you want to press shift and select that now deselect it now if you do control G or right click ungo group uh, um, control G will group it so now this is the whole all of this is one object so now you can move this rectangle to the to this rectangle over here okay now we can use this scale button over here see the scale and we're going to scale this okay from here this is my anger point anger point okay so the way you scale it you can press this icon scale and you give an anger point so which this doesn't move now you can click on this point and you can move it over here move it to this corner see how I'm scaling I'm dragging it so when you give an anger point it will not move let me do that again so I'm gonna, once you group it you select all of this and scale this first you're gonna click this corner to have an anger point then you'll come to this corner click and drag to this corner so now you scale this up so eventually this is what you will end up with process transformation and your final model you after you finished over here guys when you come to this level you also have to transform here to don't just copy this and put it over here transform this to finally in this case if you want this line to go beyond this for eight inch uh, lines you can you can modify this so at the end of the day you have for this so now if I want to export this to PDF and image to print this you go to file and you will say save as you can save this as a PDF file okay save as a PDF and you could save this as a PDF too. and it'll ask you to save press save a PDF and it's automatically save okay as a as a PDF and all you could say print you could print to PDF okay and here she says it says um, default drive you can say custom and you're going to say 11 by 11 okay and say do not scale 11 by 7 and you can say print then it will ask you a place to print save it I'm going to call the desktop and save this and since I already have one over there I'm going to say 5.1 and save this so once you save it you'll you'll see something like this okay so remember to put the text the names and caption some caption guys and uh, see which one what whatever names you want to use it for this transformation and the first one I will see your image in the background and the second one I will not see your image at all so this is just this, this is how your whole drawings should be and don't just give me same thing copy it four times transform this okay guys if you have question please let me know thank you